everyone, this is Bionic Commando Rearmed, which was uh, graciously given to us by GrabTheGames.com. As per the title, this is a rehash of a classic arcade game, taking back all the way to 1987. Oh wow, it's 1988! My balls haven't dropped and I still have hair on my head! I hope my parents get me the Ghostbusters action things for Christmas! But, most people will probably know it from the NES game. Uh, I didn't have it on the NES back then, I was a bit too poor for that, but I had it on the ZX Spectrum. Um, was quite fun back in the day because of the old claw mechanic. But, as you can see from the graphic, it didn't exactly break too many moulds. Now, this game was made by uh, the Grim, who uh, apparently were also remake, doing a remake of Streets of Rage and uh, Strider, so obviously they've uh, got a thing for this. But first things first, let's actually talk about this game. Uh, first of all, it was a major pain in the arse to set up. Two, uh, it does have a, quite a nice music soundtrack, but unfortunately I've had to turn it off because even on the lowest setting, it completely drowns me out. Ooh, oh, right. But, yep, yeah, it's pretty true to form to the original game. But that isn't saying much because it must be said after uh, replaying the set expect I can't say I'm a, actually a, a fan of this. The, the swing mechanic, as fun as it looks, is a complete pain in the arse. This guy can't. You, you have to use it for everything. It's like, I don't know, they said, I've got this mechanic, and so we're going to force you to use it to do the most tedious things. I, you know, I, I can't even over cover. Y you have to use the claw to swing to the other side. There is no jump. Oh, that, Which, you know, it gets very old very fucking fast. Oh, come on, get it! Uh, you know, you can see it with the original game. They, they had a new mechanic they want to show. When it, as you know, when everyone was playing fucking Mario and it was all very jumpy jumpy throw fireballs and shit they come along with a new swim mechanic and it looked funky oh but this show you something else a little bit of presentation it has a, a very old retro feel with its presentation almost uh, like, are you a bad enough dude to save the president kind of shit uh, feels a little bit like Metal Gear Solid in, in that well not Metal Gear Solid that was a bit too new but yeah a load of text and pictures and everyone's rad got sunglasses. It does have uh, a hacking system in there, which again I don't remember from the original, but they definitely want to put something in, the, in an arcade game. Uh, so far it is very fucking simple. Uh, you just go where the next block is and if you do that you pretty much can't go wrong, so I don't know, this is very early in the game so it could get harder and if you do get the hacking right, it, it gives you little hints about the, the boss at the end of the level, from what I've found so far. Uh, the game does have uh, top-down sections, which are very reminiscent, I don't know if that's the right word, of another arcade game called uh, Commando, which uh, is actually a lot more fun. Oh, fuck. A lot more fun than these bloody platform stages because this shit gets tedious real fast I mean uh, it's just oh, fuck, it's just I cannot it, maybe it's me I, I just cannot get this to do what I want to fucking do but you know one nod to the past I have to give it to him for this is that you can only have two bullets on screen you can only there are two bullets on the actual screen, which, you know, back in the day was a, a limitation from the hardware. But they decided to, to keep this in to, uh, 
be closer to the zero. Oh shit, I'm gonna die there. Which, you know, is a nice little nod. But again, it's not a. You know, they could have improved this. I don't know if it was really needed. Oh, oh no. If I die to these things, I'll just end it here. Another thing, you can't fucking drop down. Now, you see, the ideal thing here would be to uh, drop down and make them come down to me. But now I'm, I'm quite stuck, and, uh, yeah, and I died. So, yeah. Um. Again. But, you know, it's back in the day it was a, a fun little I, don't, I, I would actually call this a novelty game. I don't remember it doing that well. My mate had it on NES, but we never really played it. It was, uh... For fuck's sake! You can't shoot up, you can't shoot diagonally. Can I throw a grenade at this prick? No, you can only throw grenades like long ways or down. They see this is fucking frustrating. You can't use your claw to attack. It is. I can't use this you bitch. Oh no! Now, now I am fucked. Yeah. Oh, can I? Oh, no, no, I'm gonna. See, I can't even get on top of this. I've got to. Fuck! Oh no! God damn it! Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can't say anything positive about this game. You know, some games are best left in the past, really. I mean, fair play from the trying to rehash it, but there, there was so much they could have done to it. But, but, you see, and that's another thing I fucking hate. You, you drop down, there's no, um, is it inertia? Oh, look, look at that prick, look at the way he's saying. It reminds me of Lester the Unlike or something, the SNES game. Um, yeah, you drop straight down, so it's, it is, it's just a punishment system. Yeah, I, thought, I don't think I'm going to let you get... Oh, now I'm fucking stuck here again! Oh, oh God! Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Oh. So, yeah, it's uh, really near to take off the old rose tinted glasses just burn them, oh god damn it, and just burn them because uh, I don't like this game. And I mean, playing the original, you can, you can see the limitations. I mean, fair, fair enough, they, they worked with what they had, but it's not a game I would go back to play. I mean, I have quite a library of play, uh, PlayStation, Mega Drive and Super Nintendo games, but you've got to make me play this one again. So no, I definitely cannot recommend it, especially... Especially with the fucking big floating testicles and just shoot jizz out everywhere. Kill, can I kill him? No, fucking kill one of them! Yeah! Let me fuck it up quick. Yes! Right, no, we might get a boss here. Yeah, fuck this game. Oh, uh, oh no, god damn it! Oh, uh, no, no, what? Fuck! Oh, it's this fucking swim mechanic. It just isn't very intuitive. Uh, it doesn't feel right. Like, if you want to say I was flying the air, if you want to actually, oh god, if you want to shoot straight, kill your claw, you have to actually press down and the claw button. Which, oh god damn it, oh god damn it, get me up there. And, uh, I, I don't know what the reviews are like for this game, but yeah, long was short. I'm just gonna hang here and chill out and show a bit of chest hair because uh, yeah there's all this the rule there is to this game it's uh, it's not very good and just, just kill me because uh, I don't want to be doing this anymore. 